My name is Alexis Beechin and I'm the CEO and co-founder of The Drop Wine. The mission of The Drop is to bring wine off the white tablecloth and into the real world. We partner with a fifth generation winemaking family and combine their award-winning California wine with our eco-friendly mobile cans. As we like to say, finally wine that can keep up with you, no matter where the day or the night takes you. Prior to launching The Drop, I managed the Dos Equis Most Interesting Man campaign, so I know firsthand what it takes to create and sustain an alcohol company that millennials love. We launched in May of 2016 and sold out within 14 weeks. Since launch, we've partnered with hotels, music venues, sports arenas, and transportation hubs. We're distributed in 16 states and in over 800 doors, including Whole Foods and Fenway Park. We bring great value to our consumer. A four-pack of our cans is over a bottle of wine and retails for $14.99. In 2018, we plan on launching two new products, as well as our direct-to-consumer channel, raising our margins to 70%. Welcome to today's Power Pitch. I'm Dominic Chu. You just saw the Drop Wines pitch. Now let's meet our panel. Joining us here on set, startup advisor Kelly keenan Trumpfor, venture capitalist Nir Lieberboim, and angel investor Alicia Surrett. Okay, Alexis, you're in the hot seat. Kelly. I'm going to give you an A minus just because there's a little bit of more information I want to hear about. What's your favorite consumer that you really want buying this product? Obviously, we know that traditionally women in the U.S. are the target consumer for wine. We think that young men are a really overlooked segment. I don't think wine is doing a great job of marketing to them. So we're creating a brand that works for both uh, men and women, what they're looking for in wine. Near. Lexus, I thought your pitch was spot on, so I gave your pitch an A. So the canned wine format has taken off in many other markets, including Europe. Why is it not taken off yet in the U.S.? I really think that Americans love their wine. They might be a little bit more traditional, but I think the surge in craft beer and them using cans is going to really help the wine category. Alicia. I thought your delivery was very strong and there was so much good information behind it. I'm going to give you an A. You seem to hit a niche with millennials. What do you get about communicating with your customers that the big brands don't? Wine needs to live outside of the wine aisle. It's not enough just to market when the consumer is in the store. Millennials today expect the brands that are marketing them to be to talking to them every single day. So that's why we're so active with partnerships in social media as well as email marketing. Kelly. So tell me about how your background in marketing beer translates into running a wine company. So obviously product is super important. You need to have a product that tastes great that your consumers love. But at the same time, so much of alcohol is uh, creating a lifestyle, creating a world around the product. So Dos Equis did that amazingly well. So what we learned from that, I've then been able to bring into the drop. Okay, we heard what Alexis had to say. Now we want to know if the panel is in or out. Kelly. With everything that I'm seeing from the founder's background, the fact that they're going into a competitive space, but with a really different way of approaching the market, I like that. And I think that there's a real chance that this could take off. So I'm definitely in. Near. I think that new formats like canned wine and boxed wine is going to grow the market and bring new consumers in. This will also bring a new competition, but I like that the drop is first to market and has a strong millennial voice, so I'm in. Alicia. I think in this case, you have a very smart founder with a great background in marketing and a lot of good traction, so I'm going to be in. All right, that's three ins. Alexis, what's your reaction? <laughs> well, I'm thrilled. Thanks so much to the panel. And if anyone would like to know more or shop The Drop, you can find us at thedropwine.com. Okay, thank you to Alexis of The Drop Wine, and thanks so much to our panelists. And that's today's Power Pitch.